you have certain expectations of things and then you come here and then reality hits. So now check it out. Okay, here we go. Holy over here. Follow me on my journey living outside the box. Let's head to Ubud. Yeah, yeah. But Changu is very stressful, eh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ubud is better. Yeah, here's just party, party, party. Yeah. Old man. Yeah, old man. Yeah, it's very just uh, arrived to Ubud. It's uh, yeah, my first impression. Jungle. We are uh, away from the coast obviously and we are much more deep into the land. We drove around an hour or something. Our driver was very funny, was, <laughs> was cool. Uh, yeah, now we are in Ubud. And I saw already some monkeys and a lot of, a lot of forest. Let's see what we what we're gonna discover over here in Ubud. Oh, this is uh, the art markets in, in Ubud. It was written in the attractions that you should should do this. But I'm afraid that everything is just this. So basically shopping clothes. What you can do everywhere basically in touristy areas. But we're gonna check it out for a few minutes at least before we are able to check in our new uh, homestay. The water temple of Ubud. It's free entry, I'm wondering. Yeah. Let's see what we're gonna find over here. The Starbucks. In theory you need full clothing, which uh, not, no one has here. Let's try. We saw before a sign that was written that you are not allowed to go in the main areas of the temples and in the middle courtyards. So. I don't know what is considered the main, uh, yeah, main courtyard or something. Well, I guess we're just gonna do what the other tools are doing. I'm afraid that's already it. And this is what you get. A lot of Russians here I recognize. Yeah. Wondering what they are doing here, but they are probably touristing around like us. Yeah. So here we have it. To go in the actual temple, you need to have proper clothes. Uh, yeah, this would be the entrance to the temple. Even the Balinese guides are able to speak Russian. Interesting. You see here how old the structures are. Crazy. 90% of Balinese people are Hindus. Believing in Hinduism.
Over here is our room. Pretty cold water. That's what you get for 16 euro, for around 18 dollars a night. So two persons, everyone takes the half, you split into two. I would say pretty acceptable. Nice wood, nice. So the foods I saw already uh, near here, they are uh, tourist prices, but the internet already, if you go a bit further away from the uh, main attractions, you will have much better prices. Uh, yeah, this is almost in the middle of a wood, and this is already a pretty good price, I think. I mean, I could live here for a month. Chili Billy. It's a local business, two brothers are doing this one. It's pretty small. Breakfast is even included, I forgot to say this. Nice. Good morning. Good morning. The first day in Ubud. Uh, 9:30 now. We're gonna go now and rent a scooter. That's the plan. Uh, because we want to do some sightseeing on our own today. First impression, it's um, more laid back and fresher here in, in Ubud than at the coast in Changu, obviously. Um, yeah, yesterday we have been in the monkey forest. It was more like a zoo than, than like a sanctuary, I would say. And I heard even a few years ago it was not even uh, with an entry fee. They just put it new because they saw an opportunity to earn money. Uh, so let's check out the bike rental. This is what you get for 80,000 for five euro a day. Uh, let's check out how this is gonna turn out. It's not the best this, uh, thing here, but I guess it's because it's a rental scooter. Why is everywhere in 10,000? Yeah, so we are standing now in front of the rice stores, and everywhere in the internet is written something about 10,000 rupiah. But they are here asking for 25. And now I want to find out what it's true. I mean, it's just one euro more, but about the principle. Eh? Yeah, I found now one review where it's written that you don't have to pay. Yeah, there's written do not pay more than 10k to anyone and they're asking for 25k. And there's written that in theory you don't even need to pay. You just take another entrance and then it's for free. At the end, um, there's no possibility anymore. Seems like to get for free. They are charging no money for a normal for normal rice terrace, which is normally just uh, uh, like a farming ground for, for the locals, but now it's a tourist attraction. 25k per person, almost 2 euro, 1 euro 50, 1 euro 80. Go now check it out. just offered us to go on the swing for 100k for two persons special price only today so for us it's enough to pet the dog a bit and then we continue on the hike it's okay mate it's okay yeah with Oman, yeah okay okay the dog has also enough yeah, it's really a, a pity i mean claro, they want to survive and they want to earn money somehow but it's annoying that you pay entrance fee and then still everyone wants money of you when you are inside already I don't like it it's not cool yeah! I just like to show a bit the, the authentic 
because when I watched before in YouTube and in Google and in, in Instagram, it was always so par paradisic and so crazy and you have certain expectations of things and then you come here and then reality hits. I mean, it's still beautiful, it's still nice, the locals are very polite, but yeah, this, this stuff is not cool. The labyrinth over here. Well, from here, you see, I guess back in the days, this all was not existing. Like it was really just farmland here and rice terraces and now we have dozens of cafes and uh, yeah, souvenir shops. So half an hour into the rice terraces now. It's beautiful, I have to admit. <laughs> we have a lot of butterflies and a lot of uh, lizards and stuff. Um, mini waterfalls everywhere palm trees in between banana trees it's pretty nice but um, I guess if you drive around Bali in general or around Ubud with the scooter or with a guide you will have uh, similar things like this which is less uh, commercial and so. if you want a full-on package all-inclusive, pool, mool, cocktails, rock tails. You have to go to the, I forgot, the Tisa Cafe was called. No, it's really pretty cool, no? Yes, you can chill in the pool and you have some cool views over here. Then at least you really get something for what you are paying, yeah? Okay, peace out. Next destination, I have to read, wait, um, Holy Spring Theater in Pool Tampa Kasserie. Here you can uh, yeah, make a cleansing ceremony. I guess we're not gonna go in the water, but we're gonna check it out for sure. Fifty k per person. What is about three euro fifty? Okay, so it seems like you need this kind of dress to be able to enter the temple at all. And if you have long hair, you have to tie it. These fruits are cool. Eh? I don't know what this is, but they look cool. So here you have the cleansing ceremony. Uh, the water looks not so dirty. In the Google reviews was written it's very dirty water, but it looks not so dirty. But yeah, it's also nothing for me. Holy atmosphere over here. <laughs> if we if we did know already everything then there are probably temples where you can go for free inside, which have a similar appearance like this one. But uh, depends how spiritual you are and how much you um, you like to dive into the culture. But yeah, it's pretty touristic again. Or else should it be? A lot of tourists here. And yeah, let's see when we do the rest and when we get out of here. We 
hidden sites of the temple. Banana trees are crazy, eh? Love them. The exit. Yeah, you can buy some souvenirs or a cloth before you leave the temple. A labyrinth of stores and pop-up shops. We can make a picnic here if you want. Cool, yeah. Any problem? We have no food with us. So we are stuck in the traffic. We have millions of scooters behind us and in front of us. And it's just crazy. 